So, welcome to the first episode of my new mini-series of Dragali Lost Let's Design, where I come up with an idea for a new unit and design their kit. And to start off the series, I'm going to put my own foot forward and design myself as a unit in Dragali Lost, as I'm sure many of us have envisioned before. First, I'd like to talk about the inspiration behind the kit. Energy and inspiration are both stackable buffs, and when capped at 5, increase the damage of an adventurer's next damaging skill. And energy can improve healing skills too. Energy adds an extra 50% damage or recovery potency to skills, while inspiration guarantees the entire skill will crit. Critical damage starts at 70%, making it seem better than energy at first, as it can also be increased through abilities, but it has diminished usefulness on units with naturally high crit rates like Galaluka and Ilya. Energy, however, is self-contained and multiplicative with everything else when a unit becomes energized. And while recent spirals and updates have added greater access to energy, I thought it would be cool to have a dedicated buff bot with the added utility of these mechanics, so as to still have full buffing capability, but also be able to add even more than just stat buffs. So, to begin, Straight Lace, the Faithful Engineer, will be a 5-star Windbow and a support unit. Unit. The personality is of course modeled after myself and my hobbies, and he will have three stances, which are faith, design, and music. Straight Lace will have a gauntlet on his left arm that can holster compact arrows and rotate in a new one that stretches into place after the last one was fired for rapid successive shots. Straight Lace will have a custom standard combo similar to Valerio and will change based on his stance. Once at or above 20 hits, his faith stance will allow arrows to curve and home in on targets, more akin to a wand. In his design stance, his combo will be reduced to a single shot that fires repeatedly, similar to a mana caster. And in his music stance, Straight Lace will fan out arrows in front of him at shorter range. Let's move on to skills. Straight Lace has no damaging skills and instead provides full supportive utility to the team. His first skill, Beautiful Ideation, will either raise the team inspiration or energy or both. When used in Faith Stance, Beautiful Ideation will increase the team's energy by one level and inspiration by one level. When used in Design Stance, Beautiful Ideation will increase the team's inspiration by two levels. And when used in Music Stance, Beautiful Ideation will increase the team's energy level by two levels. Beautiful Ideation will have an SP cost around 3,636. His second skill, Helping Hand, is a team buff that changes based on stance. In Faith Stance, Helping Hand will raise the team's defense by 20%. In Design Stance, Helping Hand will increase the team's strength by 20%. And in Music Stance, Helping Hand will increase the team's critical rate by 15%. These buffs will all be constrained to the wind element. Helping Hand will have an SP cost of around 3,817. As Straight Lace is a stance unit, he will not have a shareable skill. Now for the co-abilities, Straight Lace will have a standard bow co-ability of Skill Haste, maxing out at 15%. For his chain co-ability, he will have wind buff time plus 13%. Then for his personal abilities, his first one will be HP 70% equals attack rate 10%. His resistance will be full freeze res. Then his third ability will be combo time. That covers the whole unit, so now we'll take a moment to explain the design decisions and kit cohesion. For starters, I like the concept of buff units like Emma and Chitose, and I wanted to do something similar with their second skill while keeping energy and inspiration for the first. The stance mechanic mainly exists to allow for the increase in both inspiration and energy, and allows players to control when the team becomes energized and inspired. The player could conceivably apply four levels of both, then cap both with one skill right before break. I decided on Wind Bow because I wanted to start with Bow, and the 4-star Bow skin, Epidemic, is my favorite Bow skin. It's also nice to have a Wind Bow other than Philia and Mine, who isn't poison-centric. Because of the stance changes, I decided on 5-star Rarity, although he could have been 4-star with an energizing skill and a simple strength buff. Speaking of buffs, his second skill was designed around the massive choice and utility, so the buff amounts are smaller than dedicated buff bots who focus on a single type. As for the abilities, Skill Haste, Buff Time, and Attack Rate are all to help him get his skills up quickly and maintain good buffs. The custom combos above 20 hits could also have better SP gain, hence combo time as his third ability. Freeze Res was chosen as Straight Lace as an Engineer, and Anti-Freeze sounds like something an Engineer would employ. Well, that's it for this episode. I plan to make this a mini-series that's less frequent than my How to Play series, but let me know what you think. I'd also love to see how you guys would design yourselves as units, so feel free to let me know in the comments. Until next time!